begging for a new home. Many of the Staffordshire Bull Terriers packed into the Babington Rescue Centre in Osworth were abandoned by their owners. New figures from Nottingham Community Protection show that over 500 stray dogs were found in the city in just 10 months, and almost half of them were Staffordshire Bull Terriers, many of which are homed here. The breed has gained quite a bad reputation over the past few years after several high-profile attacks, but the council and Tony Sanderson, who owns the rescue centre, say that's not the main issue. They've been overbred, uh, mainly, uh, unfortunately, by people just into make, making a few quid. Uh, obviously, they can make a lot more money by breeding other types of dogs, um, but uh, for some reason, they still breed in staffies. They don't see what happens uh, afterwards. So they they have to sell on a good-looking little puppy that seems that seems cute. Uh, it's they can and they are lovely dogs as long as they're brought up correctly, like any breed at all. But unfortunately, they're just far far too many of them. And these pooches need new homes, fast. Tony, we've got Tyson here. Do you want to yep. tell me a little bit more about him? Well, he's a dog was brought in by dog wardens uh, off the street. Nobody came uh, to reclaim him. What would happen to him if nobody took him in? Uh, the councils um, in a lot of areas would just have to put him to sleep. Really? Yeah, which is happening. Um, there are basically literally thousands of staff of all terriers being put to sleep across the country. Tony's centre had to stop taking strays from the city due to the huge number of staffies, which is a problem as the amount of stray dogs is expected to rise to over 600 by June. Here at Babington Hall, there are absolutely loads of staffies, just like Courtney here, that you could take home. And I'll tell you something, I'm tempted. Ian Chambers, not CV News.